Oh, hey guys, sorry, we're back. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna be getting into a brand new best of five here in a moment. TVT with you, Thermal versus Hero Marine. He's still pondering about the map from winning the coin flip, so we'll let them think about that for a second. But, uh, Zombie Grub, I hear you have actually managed to obtain a Bubba Burger. I have, yes. The mysterious Bubba Burger. The mysterious. No, they're not mysterious at all in America. I see a lot of uh, people, and I assume they're Americans, because I think it's it's mostly in America, not all in America. And they should say that they recognize the brand. And that's the first thing that I said when everyone was like, hey, these guys like, went to a show match. I was like, oh shit, I actually know that. <laughs> I, I, I know that. Yeah, they're just, you know, the, the frozen patties that you make whatever um, like type of burger that you want. And they have a bunch of different patties as well, like turkey and, and low fat and all that type of stuff. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then they were awesome and gave us uh, some coupons. And I found out they have vegan burgers. Yeah, free burgers so, what they gave us, guys. They gave us free burgers. Yeah, exactly, free burgers. So I was like, okay, dope. Like, I'll try this out because I've been going vegan for the past month. And here it is. It's on a very small uh, bun, by the way. But yeah, their vegan burgers are actually like 100% vegan. So there's like, you know, a bunch of vegetables in them. Yeah, so maybe not what most of you want, but. That's that looks legit, but the question real quick is, did you cook that like in a pan or a barbecue? How did you uh, cook in that? In a pan. Up? I did cook it in a pan. I'm not going to go start off the barbecue because Yo, I've never... I actually, I actually really life. like it in a pan. I like prefer pan over barbecue, to be honest. Oh, okay. Well, that that's good news then. I do sometimes like the grill, but I've never turned on the grill in my life, so I wasn't going to try today. It's going to be dangerous. Okay, not into grills. Good to know. <laughs> Huh? Okay, anyway. I'm gonna host while you give us your honest feedback and the taste of the Bubba Burger. Now, to be clear, guys, we're only paid to show this shit. We're not paid to, like, say we love this shit blindly. So this will be an honest opinion given out of Zombie Girl. So out of the vegan burgers that I eat, um, I usually go for, like, the ones that are, like, vegetable-filled, which this one is. And it tastes really good. It's... It's like uh, oatmeal and corn and peas and, and all that stuff. That's and it gets a nice flavoring. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it for people that eat veggie burgers. And from my time where I did eat meat, I know that my mom and I, at least, can vouch for their, you know, actual real burgers, the, the beef burgers. She's used to buy those all the time. So Now I'm upset because I don't have a bubble burger and I'm hungry watching you eat this. <laughs> okay, guys, we're in the lobby for... Catalyst, we get into this uh, best of five here whenever the players are ready. But yeah, this is gonna be pretty cool, fun stuff as we continue on down the bracket. Another quick peek at it in case you've forgotten. We got Hero Marine versus Euthermal starting now, best of five. After this, the winner plays Goblin, a Protoss player. And then after that, we got Soul, another Terran. Then at the top of the hill, we got Raynor. But I've got some people waiting to possibly be our matches six and seven. I hope we'll unlock those. But like I said, we got to actually get a bunch of those people, you people, following the sponsors on Twitter to make that happen. But for now, we hop into Catalyst. See you guys in game. Warning! Warning! Danger, young Will Robinson. Zombie Up has paired her burger with a beer, by the way, guys. So, uh -oh. this European cast may become very North American <laughs> quickly. We'll see. It's like For now, though. Drunk as heck. I guess it's American beer, too. It's like super weak. I always, I always forget yeah. that, too. But all right, game number one, fresh best of five here for the Bubba Burger Brawls. In the bottom right, we got the Blue Terran. It's the Challenger, Hero Marine. Oh, e liquid youth thermal. <laughs> <laughs> In the top left, as the Red Terran, it is Hero Marine. There he is. Oh, you little cheeky little guy. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta be honest. I'm a little StarCraft racist. I think all Terrans look alike. <laughs> all European Terrans. <laughs> Um, man, I wish I had, I should have opened up that beer on, on stream because I never get to show off my fancy, I mean, do you, do you remember where we get this? I think I got this from something that everyone else got, but it's a here. Confederate Marshal. Go to camera screen real quick. Whoop. What are we showing it's up a, here? Oh, Sheriff. I didn't it's, do it's it, I swear. 
It's Rainers, though. Oh, that's cool. Mars Hunter, Comforter, Marshall. I could have sworn that I got this in like a BlizzCon goodie bag or something, but I'm actually like really, I don't remember where I got this. I'm thinking you might, that must have been like a WCS caster. I've never seen that in my life. I might have actually bought it though. Huh. I don't usually, I mean, Blizzard honestly guys gives us a lot of free stuff, so I don't usually have to buy stuff off the BlizzCon. No, no, no. Blizzard gives us a lot of free cups. <laughs> Let's be specific yes, here. I, I, I Like once I move out, man, I got all the cups I need, all right? I got pints, I got, you know, whiskey glasses, I got, anyways. Um, but no, that was, I thought that was really cool, but I don't get to use it very often. Well, I thought I had disabled alerts, but Laser SEQ has proved me wrong. Lasarius Sequalius once again comes in with $20 to say warps in some tip side dish for the beer and burger. Flies away. Look at this guy. He just bought you your Bubba burger. What a nice guy, even though you got it for free. Just helps you with the beer, I guess. I was going to say, my mom, I came, <laughs> I went with my mom to search for, um, for the mom! Bubba burger. So yeah, old. <laughs> uh, um, because you know, I thought it was gonna take a while because we were gonna search around a little bit, and it was just right up the street, actually, very coincidentally. Um, so, but she like, you know, I was like, oh, do you want me to like take another coupon for the regular one to get you some regular burgers? And she like looked at it, she's like, no, nah, it's okay. And we go to the checkout, and we learn that it's actually like they give somebody like a free burger, and she was like, wait, it was free? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, damn it. <laughs> I thought it was just a dollar off. Yo, Greedo just shot first. You Thermo wins this Reaper War by a clutch shot, but he also killed the SCV building the command center. This puts Hero Marine in a pretty precarious spot. Now, he executes that Reaper from earlier, which is nice, but this is so difficult for him to get down here and finish the command center. The Reaper's going to execute the last of the Marines. If he kills this SCV again before it finishes, this is going to be beyond frustrating, but he's not going to get that <laughs> snipe. Oh, by like one shot, he doesn't get that snipe. Wait, what killed the hell? Did he just kill his own guy? Uh I feel like he killed his own Hellion. Oh, that was like a you did bad. You you should have been better. Like you kick him to the curb. Jesus, that's brutal savagery out of you, Thermal. <laughs> you know, there's obviously a door for the SCVs to like enter into the command center, right? Like, what if it just like was the door open and like the SCV chill came out? Did he pop out and then like, pop back in? <laughs> did we just miss that? That happened in like a blink of an eye? Oh my god. Why we'll see. Why it. don't does he have a kill on it? No, the SCV doesn't no. have a kill on it. Oh, that'd be so kidding. sick, though. That'd be so sick, though, if that's what happened. Well, okay, so we have, like, you know, Warcraft has the peons, and you can upgrade the um the bunkers, whatever they're called, the, uh, the have burrows. spikes. The yeah. There we go, they have spikes. Like, but why doesn't Terran do that? Why don't they do a full Mad Max? And just add, like, chainsaw little slits on their command centers to kill all the them <laughs> Just have the drills, yeah. <laughs> Stick outside, like... Brrrr. That's what, what I think a drill sounds like, by the way. Yeah. You guys, by the way, for those who are theorizing that the SCV is the one that killed it, none of these SCVs have a kill on it, so it couldn't have been an SCV. I think it was just the Reaper. It was, it was, 100%. I just, I wish it was <clears throat> possible for the SCV to we'll just see what open the door. History belongs to the revisionists, and I think it was the SCV that killed it, Zombie Grub. <laughs> in my books. Oh, we have some differences in this game. Uh, you know, the, the micro is all funny and, and good. And it can literally be like for death and TVT, but they both went for the same um, similar openers, I should say. So there wasn't really a chance to snowball that badly. Oh. The more important thing is they're following up with. No, no, your chat might be right on this because that SV was one shot when it loaded in. If it popped out, what happened? Oh my God, I just realized what happened. I'm having such a stupid day here. The SCV kills the Hellion because it was one shot. The Reaper shoots the SCV at the same time, so it looks like the Reaper shot the Hellion. He was the shooter behind the grass of the all. The SCV was the assassination of Kennedy. Oh my God. Wait, I thought the SCV got in the command center. I thought I saw a little white mark on the... Right, but if it popped out to kill the Hellion, it would have got one shot because it had five health going into the command center. That was my joke. That was the whole point of the story. <laughs> but I don't think that it did. I think, I think it did. I think I'm full Illuminati here. I mean, oh my god, you Thermo wins that fight by, like, the hair on his chinny-chin-chin, chin, by the way. All these Cyclones at, like, one-shot range. Even the Hellions could execute them. Well, this is just not supposed to happen. So, what I was getting into before we went to Grassy Null Territory was, Humor is going for Mech, and you Thermo was going for Bio. But you Thermo went for, like, what is kind of an odd amount of Cyclones, I suppose, for Bio, but it's like the Golden Royal TVT. You know, you don't really stop making Cyclones, so your opponent stops making Cyclones. And, uh... There's just a bunch of other micro tricks that happen in that engagement, oh. but here Marine be the one to lose the Cyclone War and then lose SCVs? That's a shock. Yo, someone clipped this. I'm watching the clip right now, the playback. Oh, you clipped it too soon, you clip chimp! Go back and fix it! It cuts off like one second you're too a, soon! You're not a clip champ, you're a clip chimp. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, that's that's what they call them when they they just do it for the karma or whatever. But okay, hell, let's look at around by. Look at some payback. You know, you has got a lot of SUVs to lose. Blue flame's a hell of a thing to have, though. This is also a big reveal too, because it's like, well, is it going to continue to be mech or bio or whatever? Because I don't think Ethermo actually got up to the main at any point. No, so it, it's kind of an awkward yeah. thing to see that there's surprise, surprise, uh, Hellions with blue flame. I don't know if it was that much surprise because he saw all the Hellions when he attacked them with the Cyclones. <clears throat> but blue flame definitely, I think, confirmed it. It confirms it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and he had another third CC before another two barracks, and and even if there was a question of knowing or not, he didn't have to mess up his add-ons because now he'll just make two barracks and tech clubs. Oh, this is... These are good moves to get back into the game, but the thermal is on it. Now he's got medevacs too because he was starting to get over stims. Maybe a viking to help out. <clears throat> Alright, someone else clipped it. Let's see if this is a better clip. This is like... This is the lamest version of an instant replay because it's not so instant. It's barely a replay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it did! The SCV popped! Oh my god, that is actually so sick. It did? Yeah, wow. check out Sevier's clip. Uh, Sevier, can someone- I'm gonna fucking gift this guy a sub. He just earned this shit. Holy guaca freaking moly, this guy! This guy over here! Alright, well there you have it guys. The most impossible thing I've ever seen happen. <laughs> happen. Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> That was so fast. Jeez, you have one beer zombie grub. Toss you off. <laughs> You're off your game, hey, kid. I was the one that even came up with this, all right? That was my joke. Yeah, it was not a joke if it happened for real, though. Oh, he's running away from the hell bass. Blue flame on top of Marines will destroy them, but he targets down the medevac, so that's a nice trade out there for you, Thermal. Also, this double alert thing. I don't know why it's doing that, guys. I'm going to disable it on the screen again, too. <laughs> Beyond frustrating, because um, there's something in OBS. It's it's what happens when you like accidentally copy paste and don't turn off the uh, turn off when the scene's not active or whatever. I don't know how to fix that on the fly. I know how to do that when we're offline, so I'll fix that later. My apologies to anybody who's hoping to show up on stream today. Mm, haven't had that problem. <clears throat> it sucks. So, you thermals. Uh, it wasn't exactly a counter drop, right? He just he just went for a drop on three bases. It didn't do so high. And here, Murray never bothered to get a third base. He's going for what could potentially be the perfect timing. Now, mm. a lot of his army supply is in Hellions. It, there's literally actually only three tanks. It's not that scary of an army. Oh, that drop from earlier goes well, back in. Now it's effective, isn't it? Now it's beyond effective, too. This is troubles for Hero Marine, because if this was a third CC, you just drop mules to bandage this damage, but he's missing that third mule from the situation. Hellions distracted in the main base. He's trying to drop on top of the tanks here. Marauders are made enough here, so it's not just Marines saying the blue flame. The advantage here Marine has here is actually managing to get his tanks into an okayish position, but it's not even that much of a choke. I think Ethermal could, could break it, especially if he had a couple more Marauders. But the Hellions, it's actually a question mark. All the Marines are getting toasted, and here Marine might have just done it. Well, not yet, though. I mean, the thing is, Ethermal can actually afford to lose this base and all the SCVs in it and still be kind of okay. So he picks up the Metafax, gets them out of there. Bunkers that up. Can production hold? Spam repair that bunker. Never let go! He, he needs to get these liberators. Oh my god, so he dropped really the Vikings on top of the tanks. Oh my god, this looks like he just sniped a tank. This is the game okay, of snipes. He needs to repair that Viking. He needs to actually win the air war here. His production isn't like seven barracks strong. It's not even five barracks strong. This doesn't have the extra two barracks. Ah, liberators though. One Viking yeah. is going to take forever to kill these. Yeah, I guess, yeah. He does actually need to take out the Viking here. The second one on the way from here, Marine, probably realizing that liberators could make his, his push much worse, but... We're not killing them fast, are they? Yeah, I wish you'd repair the Viking, like you said earlier. Just send that in the sky, take out that one Viking counter opposing him. But but that being what it is, Marauders start moving in. I don't think there's enough tanks left. And here, Marines still down Ooh. to 31 SCVs, despite killing 17, did not kill the CC. This yeah, is this looking is so really good for you, Thermal. I just... The Liberators were absolutely key there. He what was going to be hold. pushed into a choke with a rally across a short map. Which I just realized Ethermal chose the map I suggested. <laughs> You're welcome, Ethermal. No, um, but that that would have been devastating. The British really helped out. <laughs> the Cyclones for the lock-on. Like, yay, it's anti-air, kind of. Yeah. Liberators do the, the job, though, and they get the tank. And once the tank's gone, the bio gets in here. GG, Ethermal! <laughs> what a sick game! Map number one. Go to team, look with Darren. Also, uh... Apparently, we have overlooked something, guys. We've reached our first giveaway goal. However, 
<laughs> Our friends at Matrina aren't sure how to execute it, so they're gonna... <laughs> they're gonna work on this while we figure out a solution. We'll let you know once they have one. Uh, big thanks to Nathanius for that sub just now. Yo, Nate, if you're watching, we're gonna go back to this clip for those that didn't click it to watch it. This is the sickest, like... JFK, I'm gonna call it the JFK maneuver. Second shooter behind the grassy knoll. I don't know what you want to call it, but look at this shit. This is so, this is so sick. Finish the command center. The Reaper's gonna execute the last of the Marines. If he kills this SCV again before it finishes, this is gonna be beyond frustrating, but he's not gonna get that snipe. Boom, boom. Oh, so good. He executes that Reaper. I just love actually, my favorite thing about that clip is how much it threw you and me off. Like trying to figure out what the fuck really happened. The truth yeah. was out there, dude. Now it's the X-Files. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're getting into game number two. Whoops, pretty quickly. Again, it's loser's pick for those who don't know. And for those who might just be tuning in, another quick look at the brackets. I just honestly like showing off this screen, because I made this graphic, by the way. I am so freaking proud of how good this bracket looks. Hello? But, while well, the score is not updated, these are the players competing today, and we're currently in the second Burger Brawl of the day. But Dreamcatcher's been the map selected. I like this map a lot. Don't get to see it enough, I feel. I am still meh about it. Like, it's it's a fun map, but I'm meh as in, like, I lose so many times to, to stupid stupid situations on the map, basically. Because <clears throat> there, are, there are places you need to get to, and once you're there, they're very strong. But if you never get there, it feels frustrating. If you're just constantly being run around the map, it feels very frustrating. So I like watching it, certainly don't like playing on it. <laughs> I feel like that's TVT in a nutshell for me, because I, I like instantly well, TVT. Yeah. But okay, um, apparently mm, the first giveaway is going to be a free burger and a free veggie burger and a little bit of merchandise. Uh, there's just like a lot of stuff to actually give away. I've seen they, they've just got like a table full of stuff, guys. Uh, so Jambon Rose again is the guy who's facilitating all this stuff. He says Sergi FSU is the first winner. I I guess. So congratulations, Sergi FSU. <laughs> Uh, I think it's going off of Twitter handles, by the way. I could be mistaken on this. I'm not sure if it's Twitch names or Twitter handles, but either way, congratulations on your free shit! Free shit's always cool. Uh, but players are ready. Let's get into it. Dreamcatcher, see you guys on the map. So a question asked by one of our moderators, how do you actually enter the giveaways? So if you've used that little link on the Matchreno site to enter in through following on Twitter and all that stuff, that's how you get entered into the giveaways. So they'll be drawing from a pool of people who clicked that link, who added 20 cents to the prize pool and helped us get closer to adding bonus matches to the end of the day. Because again, remember, it's great that we're increasing the money and more prize for the players, all this good stuff. But realistically, if we get 100 people following on Twitter, which doesn't sound that insane, that's one extra best of five. If we get 200, that's two extra best of fives. So fingers are crossed, we can max out on the goals today. But for now, we are in our second match, second game, in the bottom... Nope. Damn it. The top left, we have the Red Terran Hero Marine. I'll get these right one day. Maybe. In the bottom right, <clears throat> as the Red Terran... Yeah. Ah, you're messing me up as a blue Terran, it is <laughs> liquidy thermal. <laughs> I know you're doing it on purpose. Thank you so much, Zombie Gub. You're so nice, dude. You always got your coat casters back. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Totes my goats. Uh, so a little quick PSA. I've been talking about this a lot, and some people like are really unsure of what's going on. And I'm actually really sad that some of our own subscribers are out of the loop on this one. But uh, the announcement is this is like my last day casting. Not forever. Not for good but just like for the next probably two to possibly, hopefully not, three weeks. I have to go in for surgery tomorrow to get my wisdom teeth out. They gotta do this thing with my jaw because like my mouth is so small. I'm honestly a little scared because like there's some nerve apparently. I learned this yesterday from my doctor that there's like a nerve that runs in your jaw and if they like fuck it up, then you like won't be able to talk properly. And I'm like, talking's all I do. So please don't hit that nerve, please. So, I'm hoping to God it's not actually going to be my last cast today. But, 
whether it is or isn't, I'll be out of commission for two weeks regardless, uh, recovering and all that good stuff. So uh, big thank you, of course, to Zombie Grub and Wardy, who'll be covering the channel while I'm gone. We actually just figured out the European and the Korean groups for BTSL. Those will be posted publicly later tonight. But we have all four groups for both regions sorted, and you guys are in for some really good games. Dear Lord. People shouldn't be talking in chat. <clears throat> Why? Because it's so gross, and they're like saying all like the bad things that can happen. Oh, I know. That's the problem I did with this, right? Because I was worried about getting my wisdom teeth out. I didn't ask people like, oh, how easy is the recovery? Instead, I'm like, Google, what's the worst thing that can happen to me? And show me every image. <laughs> Although, oh, I will God. say this much. It's actually really cool. I always thought they just like yoinked out your wisdom teeth, right? Like, oh, well, hang on. You thermal won the Reaper fight really well last game, not going so well this game. Immediately trashed out of the base. Not even a scout from this. Barely sees the command center, and that's it. Uh, it, I mean, it's good though. He saw the command center, and just with the whole lack of two racks, he knew it was going to be something he could deal with. But knowing the timings, uh, basically, like, I think it's like a minute, minute and a half apart in regards to like. Banshee timings and whatnot, one base to two base. That is very valuable information. Once again, starting off macro wise, my question is this hero marine go for mech again? Is Jim Catcher a map that he likes one mech on? I don't really like it personally, but I can see strengths and, and weaknesses. Mech might just be a favorite flavor too. Oh. But yeah, um, if your teeth are not impacted, they just yoink them. But my teeth are all four of them impacted. And I learned what they do is they do... Like, I watched this little video and it's kind of cool. Like, they drill your tooth in, like, half and kind of, like, dig it out of your gum. I don't know. It's... I gotta be honest. That was the least gross thing I saw was the actual procedure and how it's done. I'm like, this is kind of cool, actually. But at the same time, still give me all the drugs because I don't want to feel any of this. I don't remember any of this. Yeah. I don't remember what my wisdom tooth surgery was like, but um, I do remember what it was like to get fake teeth put in. It was actually really nice. Uh, this is not a bad attack for both sides. Cyclone to the front, free thermal, but then Cyclone's in his oh. own base with a medevac to micro. And here we're going for a third CC, by the way. That gets killed, not canceled. That's 400 minerals out the window. That really is going to hurt. I think if it comes down to trades, I mean, I got to favor you thermal in this situation, right? I think so, yeah. Because he also has a medevac to micro, and that was like potentially the one strength that Nier Marine had, but because he's gonna lose his own cyclone, his last cyclone to SEVs. So that's it for the SEV kills from Hero Marine, and he still has to worry about these two cyclones. Not this... just picking up his uh units, but also picking up his SEVs soon enough. Yo, this drop micro isn't really actually doing much on the cyclone front, but it makes it look hella cool. Kills the tank, defenders destroyed. Now, the funny thing is though, both players come out of this with similar workers despite all of uh, the damage that's been done here. Picks up with the Cyclone again, though. You thermal so good at StarCraft. Yeah, Micro is supposed to be his jam, and it's certainly working out here. The thermal's already up a game, but it's been, it's been, you know, pretty close. The last game was pretty close. This one also just got kind of TVT weird, but you both attack each other, and whoever, you know, is able to pay attention to two places more at once uh, wins out. But it's because it's so early on, there is definitely a chance for him to come back. If he actually gets this medevac out of here, by the way, you thermal's in such a crazy good spot, and he should, because if that Viking chases too far, he'll just unload and kill it. Uh, back on the other side, though, I mean, like his own third CC is coming up. None in sight here for Hero Marine. Worker count looks similar, but the resources lost are twice as much. This was such a brutal attack, and I can't believe that you thermal just pulled that off to the extent that he did. We're watching Hero Marine, who made Mana look like a random ladder player, not a WCS Valencia finalist. Now he's being made to look like putty in the hands of Euthermal. I, I can't even believe it. Euthermal has been in this weird place, right? Like he had the whole changing of Protoss for Home Street. Not Cup. just a phase, Mom. He's definitely been kind of down about Terran, but also his own skill in general. And I think a lot of it is the pressure of being what is still probably. Uh, I guess Hero has got the better results recently, but like, you know, the best foreigner Terran. And then not actually living up to the hype consistently, it's gotta be a, a tough place to be in. But then we watch him in these tournaments sometimes, these games, online tournaments, 
And it's like, well, this is why he has that reputation. Like, look at this micro, look at his decision making. Yeah, I think like no matter how hard you throw is ever gonna be on himself, he always just forgets how good he like it's easy to forget how good he is. Because all he does is experience the losses and remember the losses. Then we get to cast him in games like this, and we're like, damn, why is Uther not playing in everything we ever see? Because he's so fun to watch. He's like the four and beyond sometimes, and that's what we're seeing here. The dead zone of the tank is annihilating the STVs from the natural. 17 workers go down. This medvac still has to be cleaned up, and Euthermal completes a third orbital. Not just a CC, but an orbital behind this. I don't even think Hero Marine realized what was going on in the natural, because if he did, he would have unsieged the tank. Some damage is better than just oh, leaving it like it was. Oh, it's gonna kill the refinery! This is salt in <laughs> the wound! Oh, that, that's, just some, that's important gas at this stage. You need that third gas when your production is up to tanks. Um, and whatever you're building for the starport, right? In this case, Banshee, so even more so. Nope. Oh, Euthermal is very aware of the potential counter, the potential way to lose this game. So he's building two bunkers. He's got Liberators on the way once again, and Missile Turrets at the front, as well as the Mineral Lines, I hope? Actually, I don't know if someone at the front. I, I will say, one of the drawbacks for Euthermal is everything he's done has not really been tank-based. So he doesn't have a super easy defense here. But with Liberators, that'll make up the difference. It goes for the tank right away with that Cyclone, by the way. It goes Tam on. It's already almost dead. He's going to try and finish it off there on the left side. Not quite getting flanked in, but that's where the Liberators come into play. That bunker bought a lot of time, too. The Marines pop out. There's the Stim. And while a Banshee's still in play, I think that this Liberator's going to be the king in this matchup. Yeah, she is. Banshee's going to get taken out, too. GG. GG. What is going on, you thermal? Oof. So Oof, I've got the uh, the meat sweats and I'm not even eating meat, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is so sexy watching him play like this. The Terran micro sweats? Yeah, I got the vapors. <laughs> Alright, well, let me go update that bracket really quick so you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, again, if, I keep doing this because if you've just tuned in, you're missing out on the matches. We got so many good games lined up for today. And I really hope we'll unlock those extra bonus matches. But for now, Euthermal is up 2-0 to Hero Marine. We'll see if he can close it out in this next game. But we're going to go to a small commercial break before then. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're back, and we're getting into 16-bit for the next game. Now, this was Hero Marine's pick, and it might be the last game. The thing is, though, I know Hero Marine's not going to be too upset, actually, if he loses this. Because, A, he's got a bit of a timer. He could only play at most one more best of five after this anyways, before he'd have to just tap out. But he's already got a hundred bucks in his pocket. Add into the fact that, like, I don't know, he could have possibly won another hundred here. I'm just glad he came out to play today. Because we don't get to see enough Hero Marine, I feel. Yeah, you know, I think we're seeing more of him, which is great. And he streams a lot, of course. But <clears throat> online tournaments, he's always been one of my favorites. Just how, like, standard he plays, how consistent. And, like, I, I also, I really, I don't want to make it, like, too morose or anything. I'm not, like, writing him off already. Maybe this is the sickest 3-2 comeback, but... I mean, these first two games out of Euthermal have been really, really convincing. Mm hmm They are ready. Let's get into it then. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you on 16-bit. Welcome back. We continue here with the Bubba Burger Brawls. It's game number three. And ooh, uh, spawning here in the top right, he's about to feel the sting of some very close by buildings. We've got the Blue Terran Hero Marine on his last life. In the bottom left, as the Red Terran, he is Euthermal. Also, there's been a lot of question in chat over the series about why Euthermal is playing Terran again. Uh, it's more that he was only playing Protoss that one time, guys. I don't think there's a large intention for him to play Protoss beyond Home Story Cup. I could be wrong on this. I don't know him personally to say it, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was a combination of the fact that Home Story Cup is more of a fun tournament. It's something he could kind of mess around with, and it gives him a break from his monotony of playing Terran all the time, always. As far as I'm aware, there was never intentions, unless maybe he won Home Story Cup, to swap to Protoss fully and entirely. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't think you meant that it was, you know, full transition I, I thought it was kind of like a for fun thing yeah same since Hunter Cup is you know, pretty for fun so I'm glad to see him back to Terran um, you know if Protoss really did he felt better as a Protoss player he felt like it suited his mechanics better then like more power to him but with what we know of Euthermal 
and you know, I, I think he realizes his, his strengths are kind of similar to what people feel of him too. Taryn, it feels like the race for him. It just is, it sometimes feels impossible to match the Koreans, for instance, like, you know, just play like Maru Thermal, it's easy peasy. And you're just like, well, shit. Um, but, you know, speaking of Maru plays, right? Two Racks Reaper is way to go. Yeah, it's actually funny because I don't, I, it's been a long time since I've seen this actually go down, at least successfully even. But the thing that's neat is there's a, there's a smaller than average chance that on 16 bit of all maps, maybe the faster command center gets taken. You skip out on your production, you play a little greedy, and then these Reapers just straight up murder you. And that might not be what's happening here, but it still could be the same end results. This SCP is really hoping to see. Well, forget what I said about seeing. He's putting a bunker down. This kind of complicates things for the defender because they have to, you know, seriously consider, like, they, they have to take care of the bunker. It's so well, unlikely for it to get up, but <laughs> you can't ignore it. The beautiful thing about that bunker too is this high ground vision that you don't normally have, so you can sometimes jump back up to the high ground, but that SCV while dying did a great job of keeping the Reaper from getting heals off. Mm. He wants to grab more than three SCVs here, um, and it's looking... It's looking like he I won't think, be able to. Well, I think it might, might be more doable now as the Reapers start healing up. The biggest thing was, oh, he didn't have the heals going before, but that splash damage sure said something about it. He's gonna kill the Hellion. He should be able to bully this Reaper, then maybe his production picks up, but there's still that other Hellion that's coming out he's gonna have to deal with, and this Reaper actually escapes from the action, so there's another SCV. Nice. Looking for a couple more, maybe? He needs a couple more. Literally a couple more and he'll be in a better position, but really what he wanted to do was like seven or eight kills, like really get ahead. You know, he has uh, provided a lot of denied mining though through this still. A lot of SCVs were pulled for that bunker, a lot of SCVs still pulled to repair on this Hellion. He's gonna get the Hellion kill there too. Ooh, ooh, yeah, this, this is getting is... rough for Hero Marine. Hero Marine also probably, he probably thought this was gonna be okay once the Hellion popped out, but. <laughs> <laughs> that one died so quick. It did, yeah. And it's not even like there were seven Reapers, you know? Like he did take a, a decent job at calling the numbers. Yet yeah, Uthermal still continue making Reapers. Maybe Hero Marine skipped five seconds on a Reaper here or there. This has effectively snowballed. This is exactly what Ethermo wanted, even if it took a little bit longer than he hoped. Yeah, uh, this is nine SCVs dead, three Hellions. And I don't think, the best part about this, right, is like, let's say Ethermo gets cleaned up right here finally with this attack. There's not really enough to do a counter. That Hellion's gonna die if it goes anywhere. The SCVs have to consider repairing it. He's cutting it around. Nope, denied once again. Another Hellion goes down. That's 400 minerals down the drain through Hellions. 13 really SCVs. Feels bad because your Marine is doing a build that usually does well enough to other defense. Like all of the attacker hopes for when they see a one base opener is those SCD kills, like maybe five or six, and then they're like, okay, you know, thank God I did something, right? But it's actually they basically won the game here. Oh. I mean, this is a severe worker lead. Well, no, the cyclone should be out. Yeah, the, as you said, the liberator looked scary for a moment, but he'll have anti-air. Mm. Finally, a cyclone out here, Marine. By the way, this thing would have done wonders forever ago. It's always so tricky, however, because, you know, Cyclone's like a oh, long no, the build. mule! Oh, the mule! He might not have killed as many Reapers as he did, so there'd be like seven now. Uh, uh, the Cyclone will not kill the Liberators. This is why Liberators often have a very good thing to have, uh? but the second Cyclone came home, realizing yes. what was happening. Yeah, a full duration lock on Uninterrupted will not actually be enough to kill a Liberator. It's so sad sometimes, but... Uh, this, I, uh, in a weird way, evens things up. That Liberator did enough yeah. to bring Hero Marine back into the game, as crazy as that sounds. You know, it, it's definitely the case, though. You see, <laughs> he would have lost best of seven? mine time. Can we forget this best of five? Can we just get, like, a best of nine? Like, holy shit. Maybe. Maybe we need to set that up. But it's just, like, the seven SCVs wasn't really supposed to happen. In the same way that Hero Marine probably wasn't supposed to lose as many SCVs as he did, the Thermal was supposed to just pull away and lose mining time. You lose like those those pesky you know dragger SCVs that are in the the gas refinery or maybe there's too late to the pool. But seven? That was that was better. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, he's gonna tap out. I huh? hmm. I don't know that that was uh he needed to do that to be honest. But at the same time, he took so many losses. I can totally understand why he would think he was so far behind. Maybe he didn't realize how much Liberator did, or maybe he just figured. The armor star wasn't there anyways, which that was the next problem to talk about was the army supply, but I don't know. Well, Hero Marine will take the fall. And while I didn't think this would be a 3-0 necessarily, we ended up getting a 3-0 in the favor of Euthermal. Now, poor Goblin is in a tricky situation. We got Goblin coming up next, by the way, guys. And if you don't know who he is, he's a European Protoss. He's pretty good. 
Uh, but he's in a Terran sandwich, because even if he beats you thermal, he then has to face Soul again afterwards. So I hope his PVT is on point, otherwise he could have some bad times. But, uh, oh, here at Marine! Ooh, thank you very much for that host, my dude. And thank you very much for playing. Of course, here at Marine, for those who just joined us uh, from his stream, has won $100 from winning that first best of five today. So he doesn't walk away empty-handed. But, of course, does end up walking away. Regardless, thank you so much for playing, dude. I really appreciate it. And hello to all the Hero Marine fans that just joined us. Here's a quick look at the brackets if you're just tuning in. I'm just honestly using every excuse I can to show off this screen because I'm so proud of it. But, yeah, Euthermal and Goblin will be the next best of five coming up. The winner will play Soul. The winner will then play Raynor. And if we can hit our sponsor goal for the day, we'll have one or possibly even two more show matches afterwards. But also a quick reminder that every 50 followers that the sponsors get on Twitter via Matcherino will also provide giveaways for the people in chat. Well, I shouldn't, let me correct this. It's not necessarily the people in chat, it's the people who got into the giveaway via following them on Twitter. Uh, so if you don't know how that works, another quick demonstration here while we wait for the next guys to get ready because Goblin I think was in chat chilling, waiting to see who he'd be fighting. Um, but yeah, here's the quick walkthrough, so make sure you don't do it wrong. Make sure you don't mess this up, because you know you want to make sure you get a chance to get in on this, right? So in the top right, when you go to the Matriano page, if you hit sign in, pick whatever. I use my Twitter just because it's easiest to make sense. It's Twitter, right? Use your Twitter, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see this option. Follow Bubba Burger on Twitter. This will add 20 cents to the prize pool, which is cool, but honestly not that much. However, every 50 followers is another $50 on top of each of you adding 20 cents. And like we said, uh, once these stretch goals get met, we'll add another best of five on the day. So if you want more awesome StarCraft 2 content, you want some more of these awesome show matches, make sure to follow them through this. And when you click this button here, this is also how you enter into the giveaways that we're doing today. Bubba Burger is a burger company in the United States. There's free burgers to give away for plenty of people. And of course, uh, cool swag like hats and cars and toys and little matchbox racers. <laughs> But anyways, we'll be back in a few moments. Uh, we'll get this next lobby set up ASAP. Um, hey, Jambon Rose, by the way, is the guy from Matcherino. Can we get an update? What are we at out of 100? What's the next one? How close are we to our next giveaway? Let me know. But yeah, commercial break, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.